day. It is also, as Jesse said, it is a sad day. While it is an honor to stand with you in front of the highest court in the land, coming together as a community committed to justice, it is a, tr a tragedy that we must be here at all. The inscription on this building says, equal justice under law. But we know that not all laws are just. We know that it is not right to punish people without homes for things outside their control, like living outside a home. Justice doesn't look like that. I come with over 30 years of experience as a public health professional working at the intersection of healthcare and homelessness. Most importantly, I bring the collective experience of the thousands of healthcare providers, administrators, and people with the lived expertise of homelessness who guide and lead the work of the National Healthcare for the Homeless Council. Now, when people think about homelessness, they often don't think about what being without a home does to health. So our message is, homelessness is hazardous to your health. People without homes experience chronic illness and disease at higher rates, and every condition is harder to treat when someone is, un is not in stable housing. How can an unhoused person follow doctor's orders to rest? Keep your feet up. Keep your medicine refrigerated and take it with three meals a day and get eight hours of sleep. They can't. The prescription our clinicians want to write is housing. We need housing. We all know that sleep is important, but did you know that the lack of consistent good sleep causes and perpetuates a range of serious health conditions such as high cholesterol, endocrine diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and decreased mental functioning, among others. This is particularly important when we are evaluating this law because this law makes it inevitable that people will have their sleep interrupted constantly simply because they have no place to sleep except outdoors. Did you know that sleep deprivation is actually considered a form of torture under international law. Right. Now, I believe that the good citizens of Grants Pass do not want to see unsheltered people in their community suffer. But this law does nothing to solve homelessness and doesn't even make a pretense of trying to help the individual. It only seeks to find them, punish them, and move them from one spot to another. It is guaranteed to make suffering and homelessness worse. The solution to unsheltered homelessness is housing, health care, and supportive services. We know they work. Within eight years of helping to start the first street medicine program in New York City, we saw a 72% reduction of street homelessness in the Bronx. Most people went into housing where they received health care and supportive services. They got housing. They got treatment, they got better, they stayed there and didn't return to the streets. Yeah, that's worth, that's worth celebrating. So, if overturned, Johnson versus Grants Pass will make it harder for unhoused people to get the care and the services they need. It will perpetuate health disparities and cause more unhoused people to suffer and die prematurely. Laws like this must not be allowed in our country. I'll say it again. Homelessness is hazardous to your health. And the solution is housing, health care, and supportive services. That's what justice looks like. Thank you.